The Interplayer Scores page can be found in Mode, Teams, Menu, Matches, Interplayer Scores. To perform this task, you must have results and person manager access. If you are unable to access this page, please ask your club's main administrator to update your access in My Cricket. When entering player scores, please keep in mind the following. Firstly, your association may set a time frame on entering player scores, for example, three hours after a day's play. Secondly, one of the benefits of My Cricket is that your players can compare their stats with players. However, in order to get a realistic view of your players' stats nationwide, clubs must enter player scores as accurately and as regularly as possible. Thirdly, we recommend each team is responsible for entering their own scorecards. However, some associations may allow clubs to enter opposition player scores. And finally, this task of manually entering in scorecards can be removed if your club or the opposition are using the MyCricket Scorer app to score matches, which uploads full player scorecards into MyCricket. To enter player scores, complete the season round and grade fields and click go. Then double check the team that you're entering the scorecard for. You'll see there's different sections here with different colours. You have your players on the left hand side, you then have your green section for batters, your blue section for bowling figures for the players on the left hand side, as well as your catching run out and wicket keeping statistics again for the players on the left hand side. A small tip is to if you want to change the batting order, all you have to do is click and drag the player to where they are positioned in the batting order. To quickly go through the fields, you've got the number, position, the batter, batted in, how out, the fielder if applicable, the bowler who got the batter out, runs, balls faced, minutes, fours, sixes, four of wicket. The score fields, minutes, fours and sixes, are determined by report settings. To change or remove or add these settings, click on settings menu, report customization, and then show hide the required fields. For the bowling figures, put the number they bowled, overs, maiden, wickets, runs, unassisted wickets, wides, no balls, and then for the fielding, catch, catch wicket keeper, run out assist, run out unassisted, stumpings, and buys wicket keeper. You can click on save as draft down the bottom left. This will allow you to fill out the scorecard and save it without it being published on the MyCricket public site. When saved, MyCricket will calculate the player's scores total and compare it with the match result score. Hopefully it adds up, but if it doesn't, you'll get a pop-up notification advising the match result and player scores don't compare. Your association will set a player score batting tolerance. If set to zero runs, the match result and the player scores must add up. But if a tolerance is set to, for example, five runs, the score can be out by five runs either way.